Automation is a great way to get more done in your business. Zoho CRM just released a new workflow automation tool called Zoho Kiosk. Zoho is getting more and more like Salesforce every day. And with this latest feature, it kind of gets a little bit closer to Salesforce Flow. And if you know what Flow is, and even if you don't, I'm gonna show you today, so let's dive in. So I'm in Zoho CRM and I'm in the settings menu and I'm gonna come over to Kiosk. And you can see it's all sparkly there, so let's just click that one. And I've got a couple here, so let's go to my latest test one. And we can see that we've got a whole bunch of branches and functions happening at each of those branches. So one is a, an opening screen, which collects information. Then we've got what's called a decision diamond, which is then gonna help break down where that contact or where that record needs to go so that you can then enter another piece of information and then have an action as a result. You've got these little plus buttons here so you can add steps and stages along the way, but we'll get into that in a second. Now I mentioned this was like Salesforce, so let's see why. I'm over here in a Salesforce flow and this one is about getting uh, Calendly connected with Salesforce in order to update event records and double check things on the account record, updating information, etc. There are other more simple flows like this one here, which basically on a closed lost opportunity will loop through closed tasks and then uh, create some, uh, send an email and create some follow-up actions. Zoho Kiosk aims to do something similar, but at this stage does not have the capability of having record triggered flows or schedule flows. So in this case, we've got the ability to add a screen, which can then be rendered as a button or a link or a screen element, either the contact record or on the homepage. You also are limited on the kinds of metadata that you can use in the system. You don't have loops and you don't have collection variables. First thing we need to do is we need to select a module. Now I've selected the deals module because what I wanna do is I wanna set a present or a gift to our customer as soon as we close one a deal. Now based on the type of customer and the size of the deal, that is gonna indicate what type of present we give them. So I've just gone into edit the screen element and the two fields that I've got here are add a single line. And if I click into that, you can see I've used a merge field here to bring in the name of the deal onto that screen. The other thing is the amount field, which again, I'm using a merge field and it's a currency display field showing me how much the deal was actually worth at the time of close. And you can see it's read only. Now I can add additional fields and I've got the ability to look up a particular contact record or grab some other fields, but there are limitations on the number of data points that you can bring in. You can also customize buttons that appear down here. So this one is the, the primary button, default outline, etc. And in this case, I just want to understand the type of business. So in this decision diamond, there are some rules. Inside here, I've created two rules. So one, whether they're a new business or whether they're existing business. And this is based on the standard type field, which is included in the CRM. If they are new business, they're a first time customer, we're going to just use a little bit of different language. I'm still gonna send something to my existing customers if they buy from this again but the language will be thanks for working with us again instead of thank you for working with us for the first time. In the new business section, all I need to do is I'm, I'm looking up the current record. I'm using the data that's found on the deal itself. I've selected type is new business and, and then on the second filter rule is type is existing business. And you may notice there is a default section down here, which just handles any exceptions if that field's not filled out or there is another value that's not that's presenting in there. So let's click done. And then from there, you can see these three branches, new business, existing business, or default. We can see here, I've created another decision on the deal size after understanding that it is a new business. So that will then help me to work out if it's a low value deal, i.e. under $1,000, then I'm probably just gonna send a card. If it is medium value, i.e. 1,001 to $10,000, then I'm gonna send a bag of coffee. Relevate coffee, that is. And then a high value deal, I might be able to send a kilo bag of Relevate coffee, or perhaps I might be able to send a hamper or something a little bit more substantial. For example, I might do something different if it's a $10,000 deal or a $100,000 deal. But at that point, uh, I'm creating a more specific brand customer experience. And then based on those metrics here, so we can see low value deal, and there's an action item. So on that action item, I've got it creating a task. So the task is to send a thank you card to a close one deal. And on the next one, 
that's send a bag of Relevate Coffee. But then I can create another action item by clicking on the little plus button here for the high value deal. So I have the ability to enter into another screen if I wanna ask more questions of the user, add a decision diamond, or create an action. So those previous actions were tasks. However, I can update a field, assign an owner, add or remove a tag, add an email notification task, create another record, a webhook or a function. Now you can do several of these things in one go. As you can see, this one is going to create the task to send the coffee, but then I might also trigger a webhook to create a product order inside Zoho Commerce or inventory or something like that. Or you could use a custom function to do a range of tasks across all of Zoho. Now another limitation is that I cannot use version control. I don't have the ability to access metadata in the system and I don't have more complex actions that I can do. So most of the actions here that are available are just the same as what you find inside the blueprint area or inside the workflows area. So I do think it is useful to see the graphical display and also to be able to create multiple records off the back of one based on a set of decision rules. For example, if I used a commission sales process, then whether it included or did not include a commission, a sale without a commission would just be a sale and a sale with a commission would then create a commission record in the system and that commission record could then be followed up on until it is paid out. If you're finding this video useful, please give us a subscribe, hit like, and let us know what you thought in the comments. And that is Zoho Kiosk. If you enjoyed watching that, you might also like to watch this video.